this problem, we have some data given to us in the form of a two-way frequency table. That's where they break down uh, the, the data into a couple of sets of categories. In this case, we have items of clothing that were sold at a school open house, and the categories are either parent or student or sweatshirt or t-shirt. So did a parent or a student buy it, and was it a sweatshirt or was it a t-shirt? And then we're being asked to compute some of these probabilities. So if we look down here, we have this notation P, that stands for probability, parentheses, or of t-shirt. So what that's asking is, what's the probability that some randomly chosen item of clothing from this group of 70 items that was sold is a t-shirt? To compute that, we want to take the number of t-shirts, the total number of t-shirts sold, and put it over the total number of items. So 21 plus 7, that's 28. And the total number of items is 70. So 28 divided by 70. And let's see, they want their answers in decimal form, so I'll just punch that into the calculator, and that is 0.4. So our answer for the probability of something being a t-shirt here is 0.4. All right, this next one says the probability of parent and t-shirt. In that case, we're looking for the probability of just this category right here, the parent line, the t-shirt column. And this is going to be out of the total again. So this would be that was 0.4. This would be 21, whoops, 21 over 70. So we'll punch that into the calculator. That is 0.3. So 0.3 for the probability of parent and t-shirt. Now this last one might look a little odd. It's got this line in the middle. This is a conditional probability. So this says, what's the probability of something being purchased by a parent given the condition that it's a t-shirt. What that means, the probability of a parent given t-shirt, is we only look at the t-shirt category. We ignore sweatshirt. And that means our total that we are put our probability over is, is different. It's, it's just the t-shirt total. So 21 plus 7 is 28. That's our total. So that's going to go on the bottom of the fraction. And the top is parent. So that's the 21 line. So 21 divided by 28, and I think that's 0.75. So 0.75 is the probability of a parent given a t-shirt. So that is a little bit of work with conditional probabilities and using these two-way frequency tables.